Hey guys, what's up? And today I'm going to answer a very common question that I've been getting from you guys. You've been asking, what kind of paper did I use to make this model? And I've what I've used is I got four sheets of craft paper that I ordered from origamishop.com. And they were 100 centimeters by 100 centimeters. And I put them all together so that it was 80 inches in all directions, roughly. But... I looked on there and it's not available anymore. So the closest thing to get is they have 50 by 50 squares of craft paper. And instead of using four, 100 by 100 squares, you could use nine or 16 if you want the same size as mine of squares to make this model. And it should work well. The, the only problem is to attach them together what i used is i used regular elmer's glue and i just got the seams and you can see at some points like right here you can see that it's a little thicker because that's where i glued it together like that and it doesn't seem to get in the way that much you might have a couple scales if you shape it that look a little strange but also you might you might want to look for another solution if you think that that many things of glue will get in the way. So in that case, I would recommend Biotope paper. It has the same GSM, the 15 to 50 GSM of the craft paper. And it comes in 70 centimeters by 70 centimeters. And that's a little bigger if you want to try four sheets of those. It will still be smaller than what I used, but it'll still be okay, I think. And you can use that to make your model, and I think it should turn out the same. And it has color choices that you can use. Here's a picture of what, what I bought looked like, and it might come back on origamishop.com. But here is how you get to the origami craft sheets. Um, so just go to origamishop.com, click on papers, and then scroll down to craft. Then once you're there, just go down to where it says 50 by 50 centimeters or 19.7 inches. And yeah, it comes in a 15 pack and it's, I think it's a pretty fair price. So that's what I would recommend using for Ryujin. Then just you need to find a really big space to glue it all together if that's what you're going to do. Or you could go with some other paper. But that's what I use to make my Ryujin. I think it shapes pretty well. I mean, you can see the creases, I think, pretty well. And it seems to be working okay. I'm going to continue working on Ryujin and shaping the scales. I haven't done that much. I've only done that and right there. But I'm going to continue working on it, maybe get some good time lapses for you to see. And then I can do hour comparisons. And then you've also been asking for part three of the Ryujin 2.1 complete tutorial. And I'm sorry that I have not been working on that. I will start filming this afternoon and it should come out today or tomorrow or in the next couple days. Yeah, we're almost done with that. Also, this, when I ordered it, it came in a five pack. And what I used to make the other, mo the other model I made with it is I made the Japanese spiny lobster. I spray painted both sides of the model so that it would have a red color. And this is, it's not really the reveal of what it looks like. I put it on my channel banner a while ago with the mantis shrimp right here i like that with a cruise pattern but yeah they're very sturdy models which is surprising but they once you shape it with the glue it makes it pretty good thank you for watching i hope to get out the tutorial for 2.1 ryujin soon and we're going to be completing that all the way through the collapsing and shaping and everything so stay tuned to that make sure to subscribe if you're new to the channel and thank you so much for